Hello, hello, hello. You're watching ILBC TV, and this is another episode of Feedback and Friends, but today is a little bit different. We have the Beat Call finale. So if you are just joining us for the first time or you have no idea what we're talking about, we have been doing the Beat Call sample challenge. And what we've been doing is getting people to submit loops. We gave them a tempo, we gave them a key, and we asked them to submit their best loops and samples. And we got about uh, 16 different producers in on the final and we've got it down to the top five so I'm actually gonna open a poll in the chat right now and basically uh, what we're gonna do right now before we get started and I introduce everyone is I'm gonna play you these five l finalist samples and you're just gonna be able to type one two three four or five in the chat but if you're watching on the cold cut channels we are streaming this primarily from ilbc underscore tv so if you go to the ilbc chat you can participate in the poll let's check out quantum plate uh, for the sample called modular <laughs> So if you like this song, type one in chat, but listen to them all because you only get one vote. Next up, we have Imagine and a sample called Bird Call. And apparently Imagine made this with the Kia synth, you know, the car company synth that we did on Plugin of the Week. We're crazy. Great sample. So sample three is from Knizzle, and Knizzle, I know, had a crazy modular synth session and made a bunch of samples, including this one called Listen to Me. So this is number three. Listen to me. We are listening, Knizzle, and number four is from Mr. Thursday, who gave us some really beautiful acoustic samples, particularly some cello and piano, but this one's called Cello Piz 2. Love that. Um, uh, and then last we have McPhoton with a rav drum, and I, I looked up what that was, and it's, I guess it's kind of a hang drum, but it's a really cool, pretty sample. So please vote for one to five by typing one, two, three, four, or five in the chat. Uh, we are going to keep the poll open. Um, there's also some Reddit votes, and then Matt's got a vote, and I've got a vote, and together we are all going to find the Beat Call Challenge winner. So with that, I'd like to say hello again to Matt Black. Thank you so much for coming back. He is going to jam out with Jam Pro and show you exactly how these samples all fit together. There we go, and a nice bit of artwork that you've made there for the Beat Call. Uh, that was... It's, it's made from, from the flyer, yeah. Cool. Uh, it looked like you might have used um, our uh, Pixie app, actually. I did. That. Oh, good, good, good. Glad to hear that's being useful. So, yeah, here we've got this uh, set, sample set, we call them, um, of, uh, f it's all together, it's 41 samples, four lots of eight loops. Um, let me go back to the, the camera view. Um, four lots of eight loops divided into, I call them drums, bass, stuff, and thang. Uh, and then the stabs over here. So um, do you want me to comment on the individual loops now, or may maybe it'd be a good idea to jam jam into them, and that way I can sort of find my way amongst them. Absolutely. Remember what's what. Level okay? Yeah, you could even turn it up a bit. Hard for me to do at this end, actually, for, I don't know, it's fucking. I can turn you our up. Vo our volume goes up to 11 here. That should be a bit louder. Is that a bit louder? Yes. Okay, safe. Yeah, nice bit of hang drum. It's just a bit of vocal in the background. Nice acoustic sample. The 
Pillow Pit soon.
let's try this combination of acid I made. Three samples called acid, three, four, and... my favorite one. leave it there for the moment it's effectively an interactive bit of music this and i think what we'll do is at the moment it's just on this um uh set for the for the jam pro but it's actually a simple matter to make it available on ninja jam as well which is um free for uh iphone and android so i'm able to hopefully watch this space and we'll uh keep locked to lbc and we'll publish the link for that hi there Ch kieran j o'neill um so uh well the drums um i did like this one the uh, catfish nice uh, slightly unusual snare drum sound the bass perhaps my favorite well there's some good selections on the bass there i don't know who lkg is but you've obviously been quite busy thanks very much um nice solid uh farty dub style bass there and then this nice pad as well we do love a nice pad i liked alien x string as well that's um cross color shout out cross color good one thank you cross color yeah, it's the uh, it's a, a lot of uh, electronic music. I think the sort of there's no formula, but one sort of thing that works for me is something something sweet and something nasty and heavy mixed together. That's uh, and the pads quite often provide that sweet aspect, and then you got the nasty. Heaviness to go with it. And the very first one, well, I think Rav Mello on the um, the hang dramas, we said that does get a definite uh, definite love for that beautiful sound of the hang. I like the little voice in the background there that tells you that came from the real world. And that is option number five, if you're voting in the poll, number five. Okay, okay. Which are the other options then? Okay, here we go. So, um... That number one is the pitched break that you were just playing, the jungle one. This one. No, the pitch, the, the last one. Yeah. Okay, let's just quickly run through the ones then. So give me actually, give me number one. Actually, I'm sorry. Um, it's the modular melody one from, from Astro Raff. Yeah. That's Astro Raff's contribution, is it? Yep. Is that con yep. Contemplate, alias yes. Astro Raff. Yep. Hi there, Raff, if you're listening. Nice bit of modular. Good to get the old uh, expensive circuitry working there for its money. So what's number two? Number two is Listen to Me in the Leeds channel. Listen by Knizzle. When you say Leeds, I've stupidly renamed them here. Channel 4. 
Channel 4, listen, here we go. I like that. He's been listening to Solid Steel because uh, whoever that is, we used to use that, um, the Ipcrest file sound. Uh, now listen to me. And yeah. when you hear a sound, do you remember that film? Creepy 60s thriller, which has now yeah. been re re uh, <laughs> remade actually. Have you seen the new version yet, Elle? I haven't seen it. I have not. M Michael Caine, there's a nice brainwashing section where they're using these spaced out, fucked up sounds, trying to brainwash him and his voice going, listen to me. But when you hear a voice saying, now listen to me, you will always obey that voice. <laughs> uh, I'm not trying to hit this on you. So. Okay, what was, what was number three then? Number three is Imagine Bird Call. I think that's in the, the number yeah, three. Yeah, next one. Here we go. Yeah, I can imagine that turning up in an Aphex tune. Nice. And that's by Im Imagine or Imagine, yes, whatever Imagine, Imagine, yeah. <laughs> okay. And number four is what? Is uh, Cello Piz 2. So I think that's in the pads or, the, uh, yeah. Yeah. Sounds real, doesn't it? Does sound real? I, I think, think it is. is real. He yeah? sent me all these organic things. Right, nice. There's always a bit of acoustic uh, magic there. Okay, thanks for that, Mr. Thursday. And what was the last one, the MC Photon? Uh, the last one is that um, that rav drum that you like. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's the basis of a whole track there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. mm. Sweet. So I don't know, um, are, are we going to see who's, um, what the troops have been saying on the polls then? Yeah. And then we, we'll also give our own votes. Do we get more votes than everyone else or is we just <laughs> yeah, get one yeah. vote as well? <laughs> well, I, I think you probably get two votes, Matt. <laughs> well, um, what if I like one that's not in the five? No, I tell you what, I won't be difficult, but I do want to give a special mention to this um, this Vox shot. That is really nice as well. Now, who made that? Uh, Astro Raff did, actually. Really? Another score for Raff there. Um, that's uh, that's a nice a nice sample. I don't know if he hopefully sang it himself and didn't just get it off an opera record or, but <laughs> otherwise we could end up in court but well we've um, also got the reddit poll going on right now and in the reddit okay. poll we have imagine in first place knizzle in second and then mr thursday and mcphoton tied for uh third so we're basically okay. we're, we're gonna kind of have to skew maybe with the reddit there's a lot more people on it so maybe the reddit gets two points you get two points this chat gets one point and then i'll take one point Okay, maybe, well, maybe I, I, Natty should get a point. Did you vote already, Natty? Yeah, Natty should vote for sure. I voted on the Reddit one. <laughs> oh, okay. you've had your you've had right, your, your, had your chips, vote, as we say. Well, yeah, I, I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna democracy. I'm gonna cast my vote for um for Astro Raff actually because not only do I like that uh that first one which he did, but I also gonna give him a bonus just my personal um liking of that Vox shot which he's provided. You know, a good vocal sample can be a key to a whole track. You know what I mean? Um, reminds me a bit of Future Sound of London, that um, Papua New Guinea track with that great uh, vocal sample in it. Okay. Um, Do you so want to give them two votes or one vote? So you have two votes to give. Um, no, I'm going to give the other one to the uh, the Rav Mellow. Yeah. Okay. This is uh, like, isn't it, when you have to sort of choose between your children's pictures, say which is the best. And <laughs> <laughs> my mum said, well, they're both lovely, both exactly the same, but they're very different, aren't they? But, um, you know, there's good, uh, it's good, it's good materials here. Hold well on, everybody. Mm. Nice. Hi, Adrian very much a sucker for the soft drums. Yeah, okay. For the soft drums? Which were yeah, they? Yeah, like the, 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 well, the hang drums, like, you know, that soft oh, metallic yes. sounds. I'm right. very much just, I love those sort of sounds. And I often use them as um, sub layers and stack synths on top of them and whatever, and it creates a nice character to them. Definitely, yes. The sounds which don't take up too much space are... Uh, uh, well, there's a place for them, definitely, isn't there? That's because they don't exactly. take up too much place. Mm. Natty, yes. you Adrian should get two Bozzolo. votes. Sorry, Natty, Adrian Natty, and Bozzolo. take two votes. Well, I mean, yeah, take two. Okay, well, I mean, um, the 
hang drums i voted for them already on the reddit so i'm voting for them again so okay. McFoot on gets a second vote from me then if that's the case okay okay <laughs> that boy doesn't tie break it <laughs> <laughs> all right well maybe um you sh if you can do another little jam way we'll give them till the end of the jam to uh figure out their favorites okay well i might naughtily speed it up a bit go for it Should get I wild i have no idea what this is going to be like but uh Give me some uh, opinions in the chat if you like people. So when a, a DJ or music maker is doing their set and they just relentlessly chop from one thing to another, is it annoying or is it exciting? Does it help you get your groove on or does it rock you out of your groove? I'm a, a bit prone to chumping it too much, possibly. got a new feature in Jam actually which is um, quantize which for someone quite loose on the rhythm now I've got these stabs quantized now on sixteenths which is sort of cheating but it does it does kind of work oh there I go again I quite like these power chords. Bass stab. Rise actually. Pilly want that one's called. Let's dub that out a bit. Wild feedback. Still hearing me? Let's check it out. Yep.
like Imagine is the winner. Uh, it looks like Imagine is the winner, and I think for uh, we've got McPhoton and Mr. Thursday in a tie right now. So I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. Good. Okay, I think I'll have the casting vote. What's that? Give right. me the samples then. Okay, so McPhoton is the Rav drum, and Mr. Thursday is the cello. All oh, hard. Two really good acoustic sample makers. Um, will it be goer favoritism if I give it to the, the hang drum? But um, did did um, Mr. Photon, is it the cello, is it two samples? Is it this one as well, the cello pits? Yeah, all the cello and the piano is from uh, Mr. Thursday. So Mr. Thursday did, uh, sorry, Mr. Thursday, sorry, yeah. And so there's the piano three as well, cello, yeah. yeah, that's also him. Well, I think actually that's got to get the, the bonus vote, right? Because Mr. Thursday's had got three samples. That four, ended up actually. In the final four samples in the final selection. I think that definitely deserves a, a placing, definitely. He, yeah, he's yeah. also got the uh, cello stab, if you saw that one. Yes, the cello bow, is it? Yep. Oh, oh, lovely, lovely. Yeah, okay, well, um, Mr. Thursday, you are going to win a very creditable uh, second place, and that's going to win you a Ninja Tune wax sack, as it used to be called, which was personally one of mine, and you can't get them anymore, and they're a nice bit of schmutter. I think we did post a picture of them somewhere. So, well done to you. Yay! Uh, yeah, nice. For Mr. Thursday, beat maker. Uh, and um, McPhoton special mention. A really yeah. awesome, awesome submission uh, as but well. Uh, Ast Astro Raph special mention as well. I, I possibly my particular one favourite sample is Vox Shot. So Astro Raph, I'm going to I'm going to look out something special for you. Just as uh, you made my favourite sample there. So well done for you. And um, and Kinizzle. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Kinizzle swept the uh, swept the swept the boards with uh, some great sounds. So um, by by pretty much consistently across the board, people with the people's choice. Yeah, well done. Mm -hmm. um, and you are going to win. We should have a nice picture to swap on screen, shouldn't we? Of the the Zen delay. If you got one to hand, Delisha, uh, I might have one somewhere. Let's see. Hey, there we go. Right, there's my setup, and there is the Zen delay. Okay, and uh, you are going to have one of your own. Imagine, and uh, that's <laughs> made with Erica Synth. Uh, yes. Um, have I? Is that vaguely the right place? Yeah, that'll do. Good. Amazing. Well, thanks so much, Matt. We love we love that, and I guess we can make the pack available, like you said, for Ninja Jam. That would be cool. Yeah, that. Yeah, give us a, a few days to wrap our, uh, uh, the samples up in the right format for that, um, and then we'll publish. Keep it locked on the LBC. Uh, 